Hello! In this video, we are going to see what is the histogram of a digital image. I'm going to introduce you the concept of, the his of what is a histogram, also different kind of classical applications and uh, codes on my last software, code that you can execute anytime you want. So, most of you uh, probably have um, wondered, uh, sometimes when we are uh, watching our cameras, we can see an image, for example, and in this image we see uh, an associated graph that is called histogram. But I have a lot of students that uh, still they are wondering what is a histogram and we can, how we can define this concept on, on digital image processing uh, subjects. Okay, then, uh, according to the classical uh, definition that is uh, in the classical book, book of Gonzalez and Wood, the classical book of digital image processing, the histogram of a digital image with gray levels in the range 0 to L-1 is a discrete function uh, H evaluated in RK equals to NK where RK is the kth gray level and NK is the number of pixels in the image having gray level RK. Okay, so when we, when we uh, read this, we can, we can uh, feel confused and therefore I'm going to show you an example of what is an histogram. This is, this is a classical image from a lab and on the right side we are uh, seeing the histogram, the corresponding histogram to this image. As we can see on the X, okay, give me one second, I'm going to uh, use the, okay. On this uh, graph, what's infor what kind of information we are, we are seeing? Okay, on the X axis, we are visualizing the different gray levels of the pixels of the image. So, okay, we are talking about an 8-bit image. So it means that we have 256 levels of gray intensity on the image. So for each level, we are going to see on, we are seeing on the Y axis, the number of pixels, the quantity of pixels. So this graph represents a frequency of the a distribution of how many pixels we have for each gray level. So let's see an example in this, um, for example, okay, we have here the level uh, 120 uh, gray intensity level. This level, let's suppose we have over here, 120 level. So this, this means that we have this, uh, according to this uh, level, we have 599 uh, pixels with this uh, intensity. So if we graph in the, if we see in this example, in this point, more or less, we are going to have 599 pixels with this uh, intensity value. So this is a distribution of the pixels on the image. Let's see another example. In this example, uh, we, are, we are seeing the same image and in this case we have a 70A gray, uh, the example of 70A intensity level of image. And I have highlighted on this image with a green color uh, all the pixels, all the pixels in the entire image with the, uh, that, that have the same intensity level, in this case 78. So each one of these pixels have 78 level. And if we count, if we count all those pixels, we are going to, to see this, this result. 1,245 pixels on the image have this, uh, this intensity. So the, if, we are, if we want to see a, a histogram of a digital image uh, using the software MATLAB, the classical function we can use is imhis. After we read, read the image using, pardon, after we read the image using the imread function, 
we can uh, visualize this histogram using this function that receives uh, as a input argument the the matrix the matrix of the image so now uh, this is another example this is a very simple example if you still have if you still have doubts of what is a histogram on a digital image so in this example we have this image this uh, this is um, a pattern a classical pattern from the from the mentioned book I, t I already told you and on the red on the right side we have the histogram so uh, in this case we have just uh, three levels of uh, intensity we have only zero we have uh, 127 in this case and in this case we have 200 and 29 just three level as we can see on the image so uh, the zero level corresponds to the black color the black color is the background color that we can see on the image the 127 and 27 level corresponds to this gray level is kind of a mid uh, grade level and finally this uh, another another uh, um, intensity level corresponds to the uh, white circle we are seeing in the middle of this uh, of this picture so we have your three levels and that is why the the shape of the histogram is just three uh, levels in each three deltas in each of one of these values okay uh, another if we, if we want to uh, for example to to see another way to how to uh, visualize a histogram on MATLAB we can also use uh, this syntaxis this is the the, the image you, we use in his function again and we can receive the values on these two vectors counts the counts vectors and the x vectors the counts vector correspond to the how many pixels we have it corresponds to the y axis and the x uh, vector corresponds to the intensity levels so therefore we can use the in this ex, in this ex, in this very simple examples we can use the stem function from a lab in which corresponds each uh, each value of x with the counts and this is just uh, in order to fill the cycle of the of the graph okay so now we are seeing different images and their corresponding histograms so in this case in these uh, several examples uh, in this first case we are seeing a dark image case because as we can see in, in the histogram related to this image the majority of pixels are concentrated in the low part of the histogram so that is why we have more uh, pixels with uh, dark values we have uh, those pixels are prevalent in this image on the contrary we don't have uh, high values pixels and that is that is another reason of why this image is so so dark so in this second second example uh, we are uh, we are seeing a bright image and we have here the histogram in this histogram on the contrary we are seeing that uh, the best part the majority of the pixels are concentrated in the high part of the histogram in the part that correspond to high values uh, to high pixel values so this is another example we can see we can uh, understand how we can use histograms and how we can um, interpret the details of the image only uh, by seeing the histogram this uh, third example we we are in uh, we are seeing a low contrast image this image as we can see uh, there are several pixels with a kind of medium gray level so in the histogram we we can visualize different uh, values all the values of the pixels they are concentrated exactly in the middle 
on the histogram. And this is a low contrast image because we don't have a, a, a uniform distribution of these uh, pixels. In this final example, as we can see, there is a, we are seeing a high contrast image. This image is nicer, is uh, much nicer in comparison with these other examples. So why is that? Because the histogram is completely uniform or is approximately uniform and consequently we are, we are giving the same importance of a repetition uh, of each pixel in the histogram and we can visualize better the difference of all the pixels in the image. So this is uh, 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 the desired uh, image that sometimes we want to see, we want to emphasize in a, in a, in a determined uh, algorithm in digital image processing. So and there is a way, there is a method that uh, convert this kind of histogram, the, a, a kind of low contrast uh, image histogram into a high contrast image histogram. For example, we have uh, in this slide, one of the application of the histogram, there is a widespread application that is uh, known as histogram equalization. And this is a, te this is a technique uh, in order to enhance the quality of the image. So in this case, we have uh, this wheel that uh, it has, for example, a low contrast, a dark e histogram, for example, and there is a mathematic method that convert this kind of histogram into a new histogram that is almost uniform uh, across all the uh, x axis of the histogram of the new image. And that is why in this uh, second image, we can see different details that we cannot see at the same way in this third image. So this is just a particular application of histograms and is a widely spread, very common and very simple. We can uh, apply, we can use it using the following uh, line codes on my last software. This uh, specific uh, function is called hist equalization. We can equalize in a very easy way whatever image we want to uh, use for that for that purpose. So in this uh, final uh, slide, I'm just going to show you one of the other applications that we can see about histograms. This kind of application consists of um, trying to classify the type of noise that is affecting the image. In these uh, four examples, as we can see, we have below uh, the histograms as associated to uh, each of these uh, images, we can see different shapes and uh, depending on the shape, we can affirm, we can say what kind of noise are prevalent in, this kind, in, these, uh, in those images. In this first example, for example, we can see there is a Gaussian noise, a Rayleigh noise, a gamma noise, and in this final, an exponential noise. So this is another uh, example of application of histogram, and we can see it better in next videos because um, if we know what is the type of noise that is a, in an image, then we we could know how to resolve, how to uh, how to filter this noise using a specific uh, method for this kind of application. So this is the video I just wanted to show you. I hope you have enjoyed and any kind of uh, feedback from you will be always welcome. Bye.